everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday, and we are, of course I'm in a hurry, anytime I do a video on Sunday, I'm in a hurry, because they're getting ready, we're getting ready to go out to eat, and, but I wanted to show you the things that I got in the mail on Friday, and then give you an update on the um, misguided, I'm wearing this capelet thing today, and it is kind of weird doing a video with it on, <laughs> but anyway, um, so the coat, they wrote me back and said that it never, what did they say? They said, I don't know, the bottom line is they didn't put up much of it. They said either they could dispatch it again or they could give me my money back. And so I just chose to get my money back because several of you had said that they, you'd had a hard time with getting things to the U.S. from that misguided site. And um, so I decided I would just get my money back and maybe try to find it here in the U.S. or something. And um, so I didn't get that, but I did get my Sephora order, and then I also got this, which I ordered from, here, let me, I had zoomed in to see if you could see. The, all the black was um, blinking out my face, so I was playing with the camera. But um, I ordered this from Amazon. And as you can see, it's not very heavy, um, and it's very plain. It's just got, it doesn't have any dividers in it. It just has drawers. And then it, but it does have this covered top. And, um, oh, let's see. <laughs> it's very clear. <laughs> oh, let's see here. The name of it is Whitmore. And um, it says, it's, if you find any issue or quality functionality of your orgasm, please contact us. Um, so, of course, I would rather have, like, I, what I really would like is one of those, the ice box, but I didn't want to spend that much money because the reason I got this is just for, I want to organize my makeup so that um, all of my powders, like all the different um, mineral powders, you know, loose powders and stuff that I have, that I can put them somewhere, but I don't want to get rid of them, but they may not be the ones that I'm using on an everyday basis. And... I wanted somewhere to put those and I also wanted an extra place I have two ideas I have either a catch-all like that or I was thinking of getting a few of these and maybe doing all Mac in one of them and all you know Dior and Chanel in one of them trying to get organized that way because you know of course there's a lot of things that I'm gonna get rid of and I'll probably just um, I don't know if I have a sale or not I always hate putting John through all that shipping and stuff but um, there's a lot of stuff I want to get rid of, but there's a lot of stuff I just don't use very often, but I don't want to get rid of it. I might want to go back to it, you know, but I don't want it right there in my day-to-day -day makeup. And so that's what I am looking to gain with this, and that's why I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And um, it was only, I believe, $99 on Amazon, and it came quickly. It um, seems really nice. It's got the little things on the bottom if you want to set it on something and um, I like that it doesn't have the dividers or anything because that's going to give me more options and I'm not really looking for you know what I'm saying I'm just wanting some pretty storage and I might even put it up here I haven't decided if I'm going to put it up here if I'm going to move I have like a Rubbermaid type thing underneath my sink if I want to put it there or if I want to put it I've got shelves in my closet so that's, you know, I'm still playing around with that. But I wanted to show it to you because I thought it was pretty nice for $99. And I know a lot of you like the Muji and all that stuff, but I kind of wanted one thing like this to put it in. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. And then anyway, let's see. The rest of it I have on today. And so let me, um, that's what I wanted to see if I got up close. Could you see my makeup? And of course, I've got my lights on and everything. But you guys know I have loved the Kevin O'Quan uh, Sensual Skin Makeup. So the one I had was SX08, and I love it. Um, it is, without a doubt, the only other foundation I have that has this much coverage is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. So if you like that, then you would like this. And the thing is, and you can do that with that too, but this just has so much versatility according to how much you shear it out. And you will time and time again use too much. But if you use a wet, um, I've been using a really damp, you know, just squeezed out, but not, you know what I mean, still left a little bit damp, real techniques. 
with this and I love it. So here is the SX08. And so you can see it's everything I love. It's creamy, it's full coverage, it's like a satin finish. And this color was just a little bit, um, if, I, if I didn't shear it out a whole lot, it was a little bit too dark and too golden for my skin right now with no tan. So I wanted to order um, one that maybe was just a tad lighter and a tad, you know, less golden. And so I ordered the SX07, which is perfect. And I used these yesterday too. So here you go. Here is the difference in the two. I hope you can see. See how it's it's not it's perfect because it's only like a half a, a quarter of a step lighter but because it's not so so um tan it gives you just a little bit more options okay then i wanted to order one to use for like up under my eyes and down the center of my face yesterday i used it and oh, it was just i put on a little bit too much but it was beautiful especially in photos Today I tried to shear it out a little bit more and I honestly think I like, I don't know, I think I like it, the lighter color brought down a little bit more. Today I just kind of did it as concealer. Yesterday I tried to get fancy and do the whole light in the middle. You know, I used all three of them kind of in, um, not stripes, but I dotted them. Today I tried to just use the SX7 all over and then go back in with the um, 08 and the... O2, but I think I really liked it yesterday when I did it. I kind of tried, tried to get fancy a little bit, but anyway, here is the um, SX02, and so let me see if I can hold them all three up together so you can see. So that gives you just a really good um, variety of tones for my skin, and let me back out one time so it isn't so... And so, um, I love it. I really do. And even if it's not the easiest, oh, I got them mixed up. Even if it's not the easiest foundation to figure out or work with, it has so many options. Even when I use like a lighter coverage foundation, like last week I used, I think the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in 127. And I wanted just a little bit more oomph and yumminess like on my cheeks I like it when they're just really creamy looking I pulled some of this out and just put a few dots and added that to it or if you just wanted to use this SX08 for almost like a bronzer or just to warm up the edges of your skin there's just so many options that you can do with it um, I think this is this one and then if you wanted to just try the lighter ones for a concealer or for the you know part the inner, what am I trying to say? The under eyes, the center of your face. That's what I'm trying to say. I just think they're really neat. And they're not crazy expensive, especially there is no way in a million years, I don't know anybody that could ever use a pot of this. It takes such a small amount that it's almost like that is the most difficult part, finding the perfect amount. Okay, this is something I ordered. I'd heard several of you talk about it and I wanted just to give it a try. So Tammy, Uppies Beads, said that she really, really liked it, and she's a good judge. Her and I like the same things. She and I like the same things. And um, so anyway, it's the L'Occitane, um, the, it's the oil, cleansing oil, cleansing shower oil almond. And I went ahead and got the big one because I felt certain that I would like it, and it was just the best deal, and I wanted a pump. I'm a sucker for a pump in the shower, especially. And I think you can use this several ways. I watched a couple of videos just to see. I know a lot of people like this to shave their legs. And that was one of the main reasons I wanted to get it. And then you can put it on your poof or shower puff and, you know, actually shower with it. Or what I did is just kind of put it in my hands and then just kind of, I don't know, I wanted to keep as much of the oiliness and moisturization as I could. So I felt like, well, if I put it on that way, maybe I won't have to use my shower oil. So that is what I did last night. And it is not as moisturizing as putting on an oil before you get out of the shower. But last night, John and I watched a movie. We watched um, one that all of you have probably seen. We do Netflix though. We watched Gone Girl and that was so good. 
I honestly could probably stand to watch it again so that I could probably catch a few more things because it was so detailed, but I don't think I want to sit through. It was kind of, um, I don't know, I, wouldn't, I, don't, I don't think I want to see all of it again, so we're sending it back. But anyway, that was a good movie if you want to rent one. And um, I just couldn't get over how soft my skin feels. It does make your skin feel very, it's more of a soft moisturized feeling than that, um, you know, tanning oil type feeling. So, you know, I think you could go either way. If you really, if your skin really feels parched, you might want something heavier. But on a day-to-day, -day, I think this is going to be great. And it smells good. I heard one girl on the review say it was strong smelling. It doesn't seem that strong smelling to me. It smells, um just kind of spa-like in a almondy way it's just it's not that don't let that stop you if you hear that and um i did get a sample of this candle glow from laura mercier candle yeah candle glow soft luminous foundation i got it in cashew so i'll try that this week i had gone to get a sample at the counter and they didn't have it yet they gave me ivory and i tried it anyway of course it was way too light and then i put too much of my Laura Mercier powder over on top of it to make it the color right and then if you use too much Laura Mercier your skin can get kind of oily and it just backfired on me so I'll try this this week and then let you know and um, let's see earrings I just put on my big studs I did not even brush my hair today I washed it and ran through it last night with the curling iron and then um, I'll do a quick okay, outfit. So I have on this right little capelet thing from Banana Republic, I'm not sure if they even have it anymore. I had gotten it at the sale, but it did come in like a sandy, beigey color too, which I think would be really pretty. And then I just have on a tank top underneath it because last time I wore a, um, like a long sleeve shirt underneath it and it got really hot. It's, it's pretty warm. And then these also, I guess I went along with the Banana Republic thing. These are the Banana Republic jeans. And then, um, I've worn boots so much lately, I wanted to wear some heels, and these are some of my favorites. They're the um, Kate Spade Licorice in aluminum, and um, I'm still carrying my Balenciaga, so pretty plain. Okay, and I told you about my accessories. I still have on the, um, here, let me move my camera good. This is the Essie Licorice. Oh my God, I must have gotten some makeup on one of them. Yeah, beautiful, and so you can see how good that top coat does. It's just gorgeous. And um, my makeup today is the, I'll go ahead and tell you what everything is. It's the, the Sensual Skin Enhancer, the Natasha Denona Up or um, Lifting Anti-Aging Primer. I only use one pump. I just pump it on the back of my hand and I kind of just, you know, take from there, do half my face, the other half, and then do my forehead. And then the, um, I found my Smashbox Brow Pencil. I had put it somewhere, I think in with my brushes. And um, the lip combo is a lip liner I have not used in a long time, but it's from Canada. It's the Annabelle Demure, and I just did the top. And then the lipstick is the one that my friend Nadine sent me. It's the Chanel. I can't remember the name, but I'll put everything down below. And um, so I hope you guys have a good Sunday and um, a good week. And I will probably see you sometime this week. Bye-bye.